Our next movie is Agent Cody Banks, an uneasy hybrid that combines the goofy sensibility of the live-action Disney films of the 60s with 21st century techno adventure. Frankie Muniz from TV's Malcolm in the Middle and the charming feature Big Fat Liar stars as the likable but girl-shy Cody who is part of the CIA's junior agent program. Angie Harmon plays Ronica Miles, the agent who becomes Cody's handler. It's an embarrassing role that suggests a sexually predatory nature. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece as white as snow. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? This is what happens when you design a code book in summer camp. Cody's assignment is to cozy up to Natalie Connors, whose genius inventor of a father is mixed up with some take-over-the-world villain types. Great. Hilary Duff from the popular Lizzie McGuire TV series plays Natalie. Uh, I especially love T.S. Eliot. You do? Oh, I think she's amazing, you know, the way she captures the female perspective. It just... So female like sprite. T. S. Eliot is a man. The movie might have been more interesting if Cody had been forced to keep his secret from Natalie while wooing her, but it doesn't take long for her to find out his true nature. Agent Cody Banks has a TV movie feel to it. The special effects are kinda hokey, the jokes pretty lame, and the stunts look like they're performed by stunt performers. Ian McShane has some nice moments as the madman who's straight out of an Austin Powers movie, but the screenplay stops short of pure spoof. Obviously, we're not supposed to take this stuff seriously, but even a spy romp targeted for the tweener audience has to give us some sense that the characters are in jeopardy. Instead, it seems like they're reciting lines to get us from one B-level stunt to the next. Well, you know, the movie this is going to be compared to would be Spy Kids and Spy Kids 2, and I like both of those movies a lot better than this one. And one reason is the Spy Kids movies put those kids in a world of magic, mm -hmm. and this movie puts its hero basically into a world of sharper image. I mean, you know, he's going to get all <laughs> yeah. that. He's got the BMW uh, skateboard, for example, yeah. and all the other high-tech stuff yeah. that looks like it's consumer products rather than uh, products of the imagination. Well, and I also think that the whole Angie Harmon thing is just kind of creepy yeah, where she's falling out of her top and yeah. you've got all these, you know, adolescent boys yeah, leering really after her. Yeah. It's, it just seemed and out of place in this movie. designed her costume, she get a negative Oscar. There you go.